Is it an authentic hadith that nothing changes one's destiny except dua? So whatever risk is written for us can also be enhanced through dua. Uh, with regard to this, we need to understand that qadr is of two types. Qadr which is written in the Lawh al-Mahfuz and Qadr which is given to the creation of Allah as He wills such as the angels and so on and so forth. As for the Qadr that is written in the Lawh al-Mahfuz, it cannot be changed and nothing changes it whatsoever. The original amount is written and the Dua is written and the increase is written. But from the perspective of the angels or mankind, your risk can increase through Dua and through good deeds. So you can increase your risk. I, I let's imagine <coughs> that Allah Azza wa Jal decrees in your lifetime that you will earn one million dirhams. As an example, Allah Azza wa Jal decrees that in your lifetime you will earn one million dirhams. You, then you make dua and ask Allah for more. And Allah increases it to two million dirhams. This original amount and your dua and the increase, all of them are written in the Lawh al-Mahfuz. All of them are written in the preserved tablet. One million, dua, two million, all of them are written. But from the point of the view of yourself and the angels, your dua, ha your risk has increased. It was one million and now it is two million. So Qadr in one way never changes and in another way changes from the point of uh, the ultimate qadr that is with Allah, this never changes. As for the daily and yearly qadr that Allah Azza wa Jal gives to the angels, then this changes according to dua and the good deeds that you do and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.